Hey guys, welcome to the Manga Mark channel. Today I am watching One Piece episodes 611 and 612. Um, loads of things going on. Loads of things going on. Law and Smoker taking on Virgo um, in the sad manufacturing room. We have uh, the rest of the crew kind of trying to, you know, Monet has just showed up to stop the, the kids from escaping. Um, so the crew is probably going to have to deal with her. Uh, Luffy's down in the garbage dump, uh, where he's just about to meet Momonosuke, who is a dragon, like a small dragon. So hopefully we get some clarification there. Uh, but yeah, guys, everybody's kind of running around in this facility, and everyone has their kind of goals. Let's see how it goes. You know, like we're in a bit of a handicap because uh, they have Law and Smoker's hearts. But let's see if they get out of this predicament. Doflamingo is sending backup. We know that someone called Buffalo and that woman that we saw in that episode who's called Baby Five seem to be coming to Punk Hazard. Let's see how strong, let's see how strong these people are. You know, like, it's even like uh, Monet and Caesar both have like crazy you know, hard to deal with devil fruit abilities. Both Logias. So, and like, even though Virgo doesn't have a devil fruit, his armament hacky looks crazy. Right? So this is these are strong people we're going up against. So it makes me think of like what is going to be the level of Doflamingo. But yeah, guys, let's get into it. Let's see where we're going to go next. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing everyone that has and comes back watches comments likes all these videos thank you guys so so much i really appreciate it and yeah let's do this one piece episode 611 let's go oh no of course <sighs> he's already eaten a dragon this arc i forgot about that actually oh don't eat kill him on sun luffy <laughs> I love that. That's, that's how he always introduces himself. Yeah. Big heavyweight men? What? Okay. Right. Yeah, it seems to have a, a perception of uh, pirates. Same as, like, you know, Kinemon Kluga had a grudge against pirates as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're not going to get to see what he looks like. He's like a human. Right. That's, the little girl did say that she was worried because he wouldn't eat anything. So this is what she was talking about. Okay. So it was like a samurai's pride kind of thing. Try to pretend he's not hungry. Oh. Yeah, Mocha's nice. Like she's trying to she's trying to reach out to him. Oh, did did Momonosuke eat any of the candy? Well well no then if if he was refusing to eat anything, hopefully he didn't touch the candy. Okay, this is when he found the secret room. Let's see. Okay, there's the double fruit. Right. And this was Vega Punk's like office, they said. So Vega Punk, I'm guessing, is the one that created this double fruit. If if Caesar didn't want to come in here, he's created that. Vega Punk has. Right. Okay. And the thing is, being from Wano, Kinemon didn't understand what devil fruits were. So he's not going to either. He's basically done a Luffy. He's got hungry. He saw a bit of fruit. He's thought, I'm eating that. Oh. We need to get these kids out of here. We need to... 
you know, at least we know from that bit we saw that the parents are still looking for them, you know, they still believe that they're, they're out there. I wonder if it's, it didn't clarify though if they took Momonosuke from Wano. Oh, okay, this was it taking effect. The little girl did say that she saw him turn into a dragon, so is she going to see it before she leaves? Hmm. It makes you think though, like what? It, yeah, she's seeing it. Like why? There must be a reason why Vegapunk left this devil fruit behind. Well, saying that, Caesar kind of ruined the place, didn't he? So maybe he didn't do it intentionally. Okay, so they knew it was there. Man-made devil fruit. Called it. Okay, so it was a failure. Right, that explains why Vegapunk was would have been quite happy not to not to bother with it. Just leave it there. This this is crazy though, when you think about it. Like the fact that Kinemon has a hatred for dragons and now he's gonna find his son has turned into one. Yeah. It kind of looks like the little dragon from Mulan. Is it Mulan? The little dragon that Eddie Murphy plays? Yeah. Yeah, Luffy's a paramecia. Don't tell me that's why it's a failure. Can he not turn back into a human? Okay. So Momonosuke heard all this. Oh my god, this guy. Oh no. We need to deal with this. Oh. He's worse than Spandam. He's actually worse than Spandam. Oh, Luffy. You can tell when Luffy's being told something and his eyes are blacked out. Yeah, he's getting angry. He's getting angry. Oh, Luffy. Yes. Oh, yes. Take him down. So, I'm guessing that Momonosuke does not know that Kinemon's here. Because there's been no mention of Kinemon. You know? So I don't think Luffy realises as well that this is Kinemon's son. What is this? What is happening here? Oh! Doflamingo? Has Momonosuke met Doflamingo? Oh. oh, okay, yeah, Chinese dragon, right, they can create these clouds around these clouds, yeah, we can use this Luffy to get us out of here, let's go, get this flying nimbus up there, <laughs> I love this, I, I, I love it when Brute gets to flex this ability. That's a safe assumption, Brooke, but no, he's actually a pink dragon. <laughs> oh, Smoker's... Smoker's feeling it. But Virgo's, look, Virgo's looking calm. I think he, he has a lot of faith in his armament hockey. For good reason. Oh, oh, Virgo. Oh, Virgo. Mm. I hope you're right, Smoker. I hope you're right, because I, I, I really like the G5. 
Oh, the animation looks great here. Oh, looks really good. Okay, smoker dishing out the armor and hockey as well. Love it. Love it. Well, I don't like the Navy, but I like Smoker. I'm on board with you, Smoker. But this guy's like the Terminator. <laughs> I, lo I love this. Sanji kicking the G5 in the ass to get him to like avoid this poison gas. I love that there's an actual bond being formed here. After everything... Yeah. <laughs> After everything like Smoker and Kashiga were saying about pirates. Good Sanji. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, Robin. Good. Oh. Zoro, where are you, buddy? What are you doing right now? Are you watching this? Zoro? Okay, thank God, right. Oh. The music's kicking in. That's right. Game over. Let's go, Zoro. Yeah, this is it. Let's, let's see your ability against the Logia, Zoro. That's what I want to see right now. This is great. I want to see... Because, like, remember before the time skip... When a Logia user would show up, basically that was game over in my mind. You know, I was like, right, we're not beating this person. We need to we need to just get away from them. You know, that was the feeling I had with Alkaji. That was the feeling I had with uh, Kizaru. We're getting there. It was all, like, that would have been the case for NL if it wasn't for Luffy's natural resistance to that ability, you know? We wouldn't have stood a chance if it wasn't for that. So, so even Smoker, even Smoker, I was like, right, we can't, we can't fight him. Just get away from him. Um, but now I'm so excited here because I'm like, right, we're, we're strong enough now. Sanji and Zoro also have, you know, learned hockey, not just Luffy. So I'm like, right, this is awesome. The fact that, um, you know, members of the crew besides Luffy could maybe take down a Logia. Um, and I fish this this Monet seems very smug. Seems very smug, right? And I don't like that. And I want Zoro to take her down a peg. Right? That's what I'm wanting right here. Because uh, she's just doing as she pleases. I think she thinks that she's untouchable. Probably because of her ability. You know? Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Um, still no word on the reinforcements that are coming, but it'll probably take them a little bit to get there. I don't know, in, in the One Piece world, like, how far away this Dress Rosa is compared to Punk Hazard, or how long that will take them to get there. Um, but that was interesting there, like, we got a lot of the, kind of, basically, confirming all the stuff about uh, Momonosuke and, like, how... How he became a dragon, what happened there, like, when, when he got to the island and, you know, we entered the secret room. So all that stuff, like, the devil fruit was a failure of Vegapunks. Um, I'm still wondering what the failure's going to be. There must be a drawback to it, um, like, the reason why it was a failure and why it was left there. Uh, you know, there's probably going to be some crazy side effect or something. Um, but the fact that uh, Momonosuke had a kind of vision of Doflamingo and was kind of getting scared of that so has he met Doflamingo? if that's the case it means that maybe it wasn't picked up from Wano hmm I wonder where he would, where he could have met Doflamingo. Kinemon clearly has a grudge against him because he mentioned that he mentioned warlords. 
Um, so he wasn't just talking about law. He must have been talking about law and Doflamingo. So he knows the extent of what Doflamingo was involved. Hmm. Hopefully we get more answers about that. You know, what how did how did Momonosuke and like Kinemon get into this situation? What is their relationship with Doflamingo? Hmm. Interesting. It's interesting. Uh you know, but we're just getting in. We're getting in. Obviously, the fights are just continuing on. Luffy was getting angry hearing Momonosuke's story and obviously about the true nature of Caesar and what he's up to with these kids. Luffy's ready to go. Luffy's ready to go. So I'm hoping that he just he gets out of this garbage dump and just just lays the beat down on Caesar because that's what he needs. Um, but yeah, guys, well, let's get in the next one. Let's hopefully we get some more answers in this next episode. Uh, let's do this. One Piece episode 612. Let's go. Let's go, Zoro. Okay, we'll put the hockey. Yeah, you guys focus on the kids. Let Zoro deal with the, the crazy happy lady. Okay. So this is back because so the normal size there. It just goes to show you what like Caesar's done to them since they got to the island. Oh, we need we need to get these kids back to their family. Especially Mocha, like she's just oh. nothing better happened to this girl. Like I, I, I'm so scared now ever since Marine Ford. Okay, so these, like, Mocha and... I, I can't remember the boy's name. So they, these, they, they were the actual first two. It makes sense, because they're, like, the biggest ones that are there. Oh, this guy sucks. Oh, man. Ah. Oh. I, I need, I need them, I need them to feel excruciating pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Now we just need to get the other kids to snap out of it. Uh, everybody involved here. Everybody involved needs to. I'm. I'm. So, I'm so glad that Law had nothing to do with this. You know, he didn't know what was going on here. Thank God. Oh no, Zoro. She's trying to go after the rest of them. She's going after them. Yeah, go. He's not talking to you, Nami. He's not talking to you. <laughs> yeah. He knows where you are. He can sense you. Don't let her do this, Zoro. Don't let her toy with you like this. Oh, nice, Nami. I, do, I don't think she liked the way that she spoke about them there. Yeah. Yeah. Don't assume, don't assume that the crew's weak. That'll be a downfall. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no, Nami. You've created a grudge. He's created a grudge. Zoro, don't let her get Nami. Oh, no. Zoro. Where are you, Zoro? <laughs> oh. You need to be dealing with this. 
Nice, Robin. Robin with the save. But she's a low gear. She's just gonna, she's gonna regenerate. Don't want your guard down. No. No, 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 no. Take her down. That would be Chopper. Come on, Zoro, yes. Get in here. Get that away. Let them out. Oh. Oh, watch. She doesn't... Oh, no. Okay, they got away. I thought she would like, try and collapse the other two bits in on them. That's exactly, yeah, that's exactly what we are. So we will do what the hell we want. Oh, okay, well at least everyone else is away now. So we can focus on this fight, Zoro. Take her out. This is cool. This is a cool, but I like this. Um, I don't know much about like, kinda, like the Chinese dragons. I'm guessing that the, cloud, the clouds are a thing. It kind of goes along with that. Be oh no, don't fall. Please don't fall back down into the dump. After coming this far. Please. Oh, okay. You have got to be joking, mate. Luffy, balloon, go do, do something. Okay, Zoro. Okay. Let's see some armament hockey. Yeah, let's take her out. Hmm? What is that? Right. Oh, wait, what? Why? Why isn't Zoro attacking her? Like, what's the reason? Oh man, it's the G5 with Sanji, what is Sanji going to say to Zoro here? Yeah, he's le Sanji's leading them. Oh, he's going to say something about him. What's he going to say? Yeah, go and, go and help them. <laughs> yeah, if he's been told... Oh, no, no, Sanji. He just told you where Nami and Robin went. Focus on that. Never mind her. Oh, no. Sanji, yeah, just go. Oh, these guys are well suited to be with Sanji. She's getting him back. <laughs> oh, no, we have to... We can't be having these goofy moments with her here. We need, we need to take her out, Zoro. She's scum. Same as Caesar. Yeah, guys, don't, like, get away from the store. Go, follow Nami and Robin. Oh no, guys. Oh. Oh. So, oh, Zoro. Sanji, get these G5 guys out of here. Zoro, take her down. What's, what? I, I, don't, I don't understand what she's saying. Like, what was the reason that Zoro isn't attacking her? Toshigi. Okay. Yeah, she's using Haki. She felt that. See the blood coming out there. Okay. Let's get... This is good, actually. Let's give Toshigi a chance to show off. 
Because so far she's just been getting smashed off everybody she come up against. Oh, okay. She's actually going to stay behind to fight Moe. So what's Zoro going to do? Are they going to fight her together? Oh, okay. right. This is a ton of events. That I was not expecting. I wonder what's going on with Zoro. She basically she basically admitted herself. She... Oh, it won't like that. It won't like that, but why does he need her help? Right, I don't know what's going on with Zoro, but it seems to be that there's a reason why he's not attacking her. Cause she basically admitted herself to be like, listen, I, I don't think I, I don't think I could beat you, but now maybe I can. But what is the reason that she's saying that? Hmm. I did find it weird that Zoro was just defending. Hmm. I can't think of what it could be. What could the reason be that he's not going for it? Especially after that kind of speech he gave to Luffy. You know, you'd think he'd be, you think he'd be gung ho. Like there must be some, there's something going on. There's something going on that's not been revealed yet. Um, that hopefully that gives us answers. But <laughs> Sanji with the G five is just hilarious. I, I, I'm loving their dynamic. It's so funny. Um, you know, I, I love the, the bond that they're form forming there. They're all looking up to Sanji now and following him like a brother. Um, that's great. And I, I hope that, ugh, I, just, I, I just hope that after this arc, you know, Tashigi and Smoker can kind of be like, right, they, they probably won't, but I'd like for them to just admit, even if, even if it's just to themselves, just admit like, yeah, okay, we have to put our hands up now and admit that the Straw Hats are good people. You know, they're good people. Um, you know, maybe, maybe pirates won't always be pirates. Like, maybe this perception that we have is wrong. Um, there's good ones, there's bad ones. Uh, but yeah, like, the, the, more, the more things are going on, and the more things I see about the kids, the more I want Caesar and Monet just to be, just, just beaten or you know killed i don't like i just want it to be excruciating i just like they are scum they are absolute scum and i i need them to feel pain just let me see them feeling pain let me see them get what they deserve uh yeah we didn't get much from the virgo law smoker stuff we got a little check-in just to basically show right okay virgo's a badass he's like the terminator um, but other than that, not much going on there. Uh, Luffy obviously still trying to get out of the garbage dump with uh, Momonosuke. But I like that. I, I I really like the kind of like Chinese dragon um, thing, like you know, running on the clouds. That's awesome. I'm worried for like, and especially for Kenimon when he finds out. But I'm really worried that the the failure of this devil fruit might be like oh imagine he couldn't turn back into a human oh that would that would suck that would suck um but yeah that's a reunion i'm looking forward to especially to see what kenemon is going to say about him being a dragon because we, we've seen how his grudge towards dragons and what is going on like it hasn't been explained to us, but you can tell he has a deep hatred for them. Also, he had this thing against pirates as well, but I feel like the crew is kind of, you know... He, Kinemon seems to be fully on board now. Uh, you know, he's just going with us, he's going with the flow. Uh, but, yeah. <sighs> Interesting, like, like, you feel like this is building towards something. We're building towards something here on Punk Hazard. And... Uh, I... Uh, I know for a fact that 
we'll probably get another couple of episodes in, and by that point, I'll forget about the reinforcements from Dolph Flamingo. I forget about these people that are coming, and then that is when Odell can kind of drop that to be like, "Oh, you thought it was over? Here you go." Um. But yeah, I did, like, Luffy needs to get out of this garbage dump. He needs to get out of this garbage dump and just dish out some punishment. He needs to dish out some punishment. I I want to see Caesar in pain. You know, obviously we're going to get Luffy to do that. We, uh, Usopp, Frankie, Kinemon, while also looking for Momonosuke, but at, at the same time looking for Sea Prism cuffs because we're going to need them to keep Caesar kidnapped. Um, I'm wondering what is going to be the plan after that. I obviously it's to do with Doflamingo, right? Obviously, Doflamingo would need Caesar because he's you know creating these weapons for him and stuff, and like selling it to these underworld brokers. But I'm wondering what he's going to do. Like, how is he going to use a kidnap Caesar to you know, get to Doflamingo? What's he going to do with him? Uh, you know, because Doflamingo seems very unpredictable. Like, just crazy, you know. And the fact that Momonosuke has a connection there. Like, he's met Doflamingo. But it makes me think, where has he met him? You know, when did... When and why did Momonosuke and Kinemon leave... Wano and was it together or did like ugh, I don't know because like it's quite clear that he doesn't know that Kinemon's here for him Kinemon's obviously tracked him down so I'm thinking they've got separated maybe ugh, would Doflamingo go to Wano and take him away I don't know like these are speculations right we'll, we'll get more answers in the next videos uh, but yeah guys we're ramping up. We're ramping up. And hopefully the payoff is great. Hopefully the payoff is great. You know, it's like, um, you know, when, when you get to that satisfying, you know, I want to get that alabaster feeling again. When you get that big build up and they, they make this guy out to be like, he's the scumbag of scumbags. You know, like we want to see him get smashed and then it's so satisfying when you finally get it. Uh, but yeah, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Everyone that has comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.